I am currently renting a property. I have a new business, not currently in profit, and my husband makes 35K basic a year, but his credit rating is low. We have no savings. I have inherited my father's house. It's in poor condition and needs investment to bring to a good value worth approximately 100K at the moment, but I couldn't afford to renovate it myself as I estimate I would need 30K to do so. I think I may just have to sell at bottom value. So ideally, we would buy something. However, we can't get a mortgage and cannot find a property large enough for that, for that value. We live in Cambridgeshire. I've considered a buy to let on a small flat to hold the investment and make a small amount back. Would you say this is a good idea? I'd say firstly, so the, firstly that they've, they've sort of decided or come to the conclusion that they can't get a mortgage. I'd make sure that's actually the case. Right. Um, what a lot of people do is they go and speak to the local bank and the local bank says no, and then they decide that there's no mortgage options for them. Right. Um, there's a very broad range of lenders out there. Um, speaking with an independent advisor will allow them to explore all of those options. Um, the fact that the husband has a salary but a, a low uh, credit rating yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that a mortgage isn't an option. Um, especially with the likes of bridging lenders and those sorts of people, if, if they say they need to do some works to it, they have an asset, they have some income, a, a bridging lender would likely look at that commercially and probably charge them a lot for the loan, but if it's worth doing and makes them money yeah. on the renovations, then perhaps that's a, an option worth exploring. Again, a broker could help them do that, the right broker anyway. Um, so far as keeping it as a buy to let, well, you know, whether, what, what, not sure what they meant there, but yeah, we'll keeping, give both options. Give both options. Yeah. Keeping it as a buy to let again could work, but they probably have to. It sounds like they'd have to do the renovations first to make that a viable option. Yeah. Um, selling it to buy another buy to let again could be worthwhile as well. So they can't find the money to do the renovations. If they can still pull out a hundred or maybe seventy, depending on what the what that lower value is. Um, investing that in a buy to let could be an option and again potentially that could be an option where mortgages might become available because buy to let lenders tend to be a little more flexible than residential lenders. Yeah. Um, so there's various things that they could do. I'd say firstly determine their mortgage options you know, um, definitively um, and then probably speak with an advisor so far as what their options are so far as either keeping it or selling it to buy again. It did, yeah, like you said before, we, we were talking about an, another question earlier, it seems it would be a good idea to hold on to it if they can, you know, and get the work done. If they can do and they can make it a viable investment, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, taking that money and investing it in the buy select, whether it be with a mortgage or as a cash purchase, could be a good option as well. Great. Okay, Paul, thank you very much.